Hello and welcome to MB Tech. My name is Matt Bingham and today what we're going to do is there's been a lot of requests for getting the CentOS errata to actually sync up with your repos so you can see what systems are out of compliance or what type of uh, packages you need to install to get to the latest you know CVE or any of these security type fixes that come out that need to be applied to your systems. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to uh, download a basically announcements of the updates themselves uh, it's in XML format and then we're actually gonna run a Perl script and that Perl script will actually uh, be what makes the system you know I guess sync with the two and then after that we actually have to run a hammer command to synchronize uh, that XML data to the actual repos themselves it's not that many steps but we'll go through it and we'll see uh, uh, how that works out for uh, all that stuff. So first of all, we're going to have to SSH into the Cotello box. And I'll try to make this big enough for you. All right. And the first thing we need to do is we need to install a bunch of uh, files. It's basically uh, git pulp admin. Uh, some of the other parts of uh, Cotello that make it one big uh, synonymous <laughs> uh, package. Because, I mean, there's multiple things. There's candle pin, there's pulp, there's, uh, you know, puppet itself. Uh, and then, you know, we'll be playing around with some other things uh, a little bit further into this. So we want to make sure we get all this stuff installed. Um, it'll be attached uh, on the video as well as my website. Um, so what you need to do is install these packages. Okay, all those packages look like they're installed. So I'm just going to clear the screen here. Next, we're actually going to change the directory to the op directory. And we're going to run the git command. Okay, it downloaded those files and it put it and it created a directory. We see that directory here is pulp CentOS errata. So we're actually going to change into that directory. And then we're going to get the Perl script. And if we do a list, we can see that there's the errata latest.xml.bz2. And then we have to uh, B unzip that. And that is unzipped now. And what we need to do now is we actually need to configure the pulp authentication. So we're going to make directory. And then once that directory is made, you're going to cat the key. Okay, and then we're going to change the uh, security rights on that. Okay, 
since that's all done now, all we should really need to do now is to run the uh, latest errata against our repos. One we, way we can do that is to do a Perl errata import And like I said, this is one way you can do it. And there may be a lot of errors that you see, and that's just because the packages aren't there or the repos aren't there. This is like the whole list of every single announcement that's ever been made basically uh, for that. So I'll hit enter here just so you can see what, see how it kind of starts off. It loads the errata, gets the server inventory. So I mean, if you got hundreds of servers, it's getting the inventory off from those servers. And then it's bouncing this errata against those servers or against the repos. Once that has completed, what you can do next is you're actually going to uh, synchronize that with your repos themselves. I'm just going to clear the screen here real quick. I've also found it uh, sometimes easier if you actually look at the exact repo. So we can look at the uh, pulp admin repo list. And that will just show our repositories, and it will give it an ID. Um, this ID makes it a lot easier to import uh, on, on the system itself. So if you look at this ID here, we can take this ID, and we can copy that. If you wanted to pick out an individual repo for that. All right, what we need to do next is actually run the synchronization on the uh, repos themselves, and then the errata should show up on those systems. And we do that with the following command. It's actually a, a hammer command. Basically, it's the hammer repository, the name of your product, and then what you want to be synchronized, which is the base, and then the skip metadata check. That has been changed. It used to be a different, uh, you know, force post sync actions, I think is what it was. Uh, that's been superseded in the newer version, so you're going to do a skip metadata check uh, equals true, and then organization equals MB tech. You hit enter, and it will go through and do a synchronization. Okay, once that's completed, uh, you should be able to do another hammer command. And you can see here that it is the base x86-64 organization. You need to make sure that the mirror on sync is set to no. Um, and then here, if you look at it, we've got created date, updated packages, and then errata says 252. So there's 252 errata on this one. So as of that, everything looks good. And the errata has been synchronized and set to the specific repos, and everything looks good. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, let me know if there's something you'd like me to cover. Again, thank you for watching this video and have a great day.